here we go with winter storm prep 2022. I'm on the tractor getting ready to move some hay for the cattle. And I've got all the kiddos helping me. There's Peyton, Ryder, and Rickson. We've been in full blown prep mode all morning up at the barn. But now we are uh, getting ready to move the cattle. So I've got all my cows up on this hill in my hay field which there is no wind breaks. There's like one row of trees. And so um, they're calling for crazy high winds, like 40 mile an hour winds out of the Northwest. So we're gonna drive the cattle from the hayfield through our food plot, which is not fenced, down to the um, hill part of the farm, like where our valley is. So the cows will have fresh water, a flowing creek, and we're gonna move a bunch of hay down the edge of the edge of the woods line so they can stay in the cedar thickets and stay stay good and warm in this wind. I was hoping to leave them in the hay field all winter like for at least another month because I just drilled some grass on this other part of the farm. wanted to let it grow but it's just part of it. You got to make provisions where you can. We weren't planning on negative wind chills in December so here we go. Follow along and watch us do a little cowboy and a little ranching. Getting bail number four put out. And you can see I didn't help this. <laughs> At least they're entertaining. We are saddled up, heading out to go move cattle. They're already arguing about who's making goofy noises. So, should be a great trip. We have Rickson riding no checks. Peyton's on Oakley. Ryder's on Lena. He's, you might want to be careful. They're all feeling pretty fresh. We're heading down with cattle. Peyton's boyfriend Riley's going to drive the canyon for us. So. We're going to go through the food plot and then up to the hay field. Everyone's going to post up in different spots so we can keep them out of the woods to drive them through we have to drive them across the creek and then out to the valley yeah, Peyton posted up way out there on the other side of the creek Rick's in at his post Ryder at his post I'm sitting here Riley's driving the feed wagon and here come the cattle so now as long as we can move them all in one big row straight down that hill and out to the valley to the other working pen food we should be good all right boys start stepping up just a little bit Whoa. there you go step to them real easy we had some cows hang or some calves hang up in the corner right by the gate so i'm trying to teach these boys how to slow work got two of them out Easy, stay behind them, Ryder. There they go. There they go. Now drive them on across the creek and out the gate. Watch that one that's up in the woods, Ryder. Immediately curl around. Get around that one. Rickson, you hold tight till it's pushed out. Now drive them across the creek. Good job, boys. Through the gate. Good job, boys. So, of course, nothing ever goes completely as planned. We got the cows driven out really well, and I thought, looks like we're missing someone. So, I don't let my cows calve this time of year. I have select breeding cycles where they don't calve in the middle of winter, but I bought some cows that were on a different breeding cycle, and I knew I had one that was getting really close to calving. Well, she was the one that was missing. So, here we are now, gonna try to drive her across 100 acres of flat ground to get her all the way back out there with the other cows and with a newborn baby more than likely. So we have Riley gonna try to lead her out with the can -Am. Ryder's circling around to hopefully drive her out Maybe we can make this work like we did with the whole herd of cows. Maybe. So every ranch needs a good ranch kitty. And ours likes to go trail riding with us. 
and likes to follow us from the barn and gets way away from the barn and then likes to whine. So Peyton felt sorry for her and has to take Slinky back to the barn. So just going on a little ride with our ranch kitty. After our little cattle moving yesterday, we decided just to leave that big red cow out here. She kind of went crazy when we tried to push her out the gate, came after me on my horse, and she's big, <laughs> really big cow, bigger than my horse. And I thought, you know what, we're gonna leave her because she might have a baby out here and didn't wanna leave the baby. Couldn't really tell, didn't get close enough to her to see if she'd had the baby yet or not. So, but the way she was acting, probably so. So this morning, I'm up before work, gonna go out here and go check on her and just see if there's a baby. Hopefully, she had it yesterday before this cold spell hits. And Rusty and I are gonna go to work for a little while, get our guys their Christmas gifts, let everybody off. And I'm gonna get my boys out to play outside before this cold front hits. So if we're gonna be locked up in the house for two days, we are going to get outside and get as much fresh air as we possibly can until it's too cold to do so. so. See if we can find this cow. So after a quick run through the hay field, I've realized my plan worked. My plan was to leave the gate open for her. Even though that exposed her to an area that was not fenced, I thought if I can just get her down here to where the other cows are, she can at least get access to the woods. And it looks like she has had her calf. Thank goodness before this cold, cold weather comes. So the newborn's not ideal in negative temperatures, but at least she's not calving during the negative temperatures. So I'm gonna open up this gate and see if I can drive her and this baby across the creek and over with the other cows so she can get access to hay. Doesn't she look friendly? <laughs> this little guy's just taking his first steps. So he's not gonna be ready to cross this creek quite yet. He needs to get up and eat for the first time. And I'm gonna have to give him another hour or two. But at least he's here before the rain and snow starts. So he's gonna be good and dry the next hour or two while it's 40 something degrees before the wind chill starts dropping. I just hope she doesn't take him too far off. I have to keep a close eye on these two. Hopefully get them across the creek and over here with the other cows to the hay. That's nature for you. I'm up here, just turned everyone out for the morning. Since the winter weather's not hitting for a few hours, turned all the horses out. Come on, go play. So they can get out and get some fresh air too. Enjoy as much outside time before they are stuck inside for a few days. Go on. Miss Piggy's always looking for a easy meal. These bags are empty, you jokers. Rojo, go on, that's cow food. go on. Go play. <laughs> you too, go play. Go on, Lena. Go on. Peyton and I are heading out. We're about to go feed cows and see if we can find this baby and hopefully get the mama that just calved and her baby with the rest of the herd. I did something this morning and you never know as a cattleman or cattlewoman if it's a good thing or not, but I left gates open. At this point, I'm not as worried about cows being out where they're not supposed to be as much as I am this mama and this baby getting comfortable enough to get back in with the herd. So we're about to go see if our plan worked or not and see if she and the baby eased across the creek and got in. So hopefully when we call them all up to feed them, she's in there. Maybe. Fingers crossed. So we did the old swoop and grab. All the cows are not where they're supposed to be, but hopefully this mama will come on. We just took her baby. So 
Now we gotta try to get her to follow us out of here and back to where she needs to be. Okay, we are making progress. If we can just keep her going with the rest of the cows. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta get in there and get her some food too. The mama did not come up like we wanted her to. We're gonna let a little bit ride around in the heated can am until we get everyone where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Yay! It's working, it's working, it's working. Mama's down there looking for a baby, and I have one of these, been letting it heat up on the dash, trying to dry this baby off, warm his little ears, dry him good, and get him as warm and dry as possible before I try to set him out for her, so. She does not look too happy right now. She's pacing and looking for that baby. We're gonna get him good and ready for her. and then dump it out and run. <laughs> Look at his little guy. Come here, mama. She still doesn't realize he's up here. Hey, can you make a noise or something? Hooray! We dried the baby. Mama quit panicking. Reunited at the hay bill on the correct side of the fence all is well it's a good day in the ranch world we got the cows tended to and now it's time for the horses we turned them all out this morning so they could get maximum time outside and go play it's only like 45 degrees still right now so we wanted to leave them out let them get some fresh air <laughs> run around before we put them up for a couple days so I'm riding Lena I'm already disgusting from drying off a newborn calf so I thought might as well jump on her ride her back to the barn leading checks and hoping the other two follow look at that skyline come on guys let's go gotta get up to the barn I put de ice and windshield washer fluid in here. <laughs> Say I'm not you are prepared. Rusty and I just decided to get out and go check on everything since we uh, got home and the temperature dropped and the snow started blowing in. We want to go check on that baby calf and kind of put our eyes on everything at the barn. We got in just in time before it hit, and now we're going to get back out before dark see how everybody's doing and see if there's anything we can do and here's something kind of scary uh -oh. that's the energy truck that's the energy truck that's the electrical lineman so unfortunately if they're out that means they're probably checking on power somewhere so let's just pray our power stays on the c3r barn sure looks pretty in the snow man look at that flag with him the wind is getting it we're waiting to check on the automatic gate because the wind's blowing so hard it's kind of messing it up a little bit. It's officially time. We are plugging in the tank heaters. Not all on one circuit. We did 
call our buddy that's an electrician ahead of time and uh, ask a couple detailed questions on the amperage on those suckers. And we were told you do not need to plug in more than one uh, tank heater on a circuit. They're 1,500 watts. Is that right, Rusty? 1,500 watts. Either way, he said do not plug in more than one of those. It's like running a blow dryer on full blast. So I have one here, one in the outdoor tank, and I may run an extension cord to plug in some more. But at least we'll have good hot water here. And we are not leaving this on all night. We're just going to go ahead and warm up the barn while we're out checking cows. Let this heat work for a little while to... Uh, keep these guys toasty at least for a little bit knock the chill off we're going to try to keep the doors shut as much as possible keep it warm in here the only other issue is the brood mares these girls are not like the other horses they are used to being out 24 7 and bissy over there she's from nebraska so she's used to this stuff it's probably a walk in the park for her but um Cece is from Arkansas and she's probably cold, but they never come to the barn. They're very skittish and they're not used to being handled like the other horses. So I tried to get them up earlier. They did not want to come up, but I'm at least going to open everything so they have full access. They can get under the barn and they are blocked from that northwest wind with plenty of food. They have water, so I'm going to make sure these girls are taken care of too. Horses, some hay, and now we are getting up here to go see how the cows are making it. Oh my goodness, look at poor Cheesy. And an absolute blizzard. <laughs> so here's the deciding factor on what's going on. Every cattle rancher does things different. Some people may say, oh, that baby's gonna be just fine. But if that mama was up in a cedar thicket up in the woods, I wouldn't be worried, I'd leave her alone. But she's not. She's walking off down here. That baby is soaking wet, brand new, and doesn't need to stay out here with the temps falling even more and the wind chill getting even greater. So probably about to make the call and take him to the barn for the night. She was walking off from it earlier. It's kind of staggering, so I think I'm gonna try to grab it if I can get her away from it. Here, grab it. Yeah, it's frozen. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's frozen. Yeah. yeah, it's shivering. It's frozen. It's got ice all over it. Oof. Okay, that was not me being rude. That was just me being assertive with my wife to tell her to grab this calf pretty I'm gonna quick. Try to, I'm gonna try to get her to follow us. Okay. All right, let's do it. Go ahead. Okay, this poor little guy is frozen, yep. shivering. Poor little dude. We're gonna take him up to the barn for the night. Rusty did some mighty fine driving to save me. <laughs> that cow. Edit the video from my. Yeah, get the cow, <laughs> get the cow. But, excuse me, I need that shirt that says, excuse me for what I said when we were working cows. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He, was, he saw that mama coming after me, so he jammed the truck forward to save me. And here we go. Got this baby heating up now. We're gonna get her good and dry and warm so she can stay in the barn for tonight and take her back to her mama in the morning. We gotta get her dry. Now we just got in and here goes Rusty putting his overalls back on to go to our neighbor's house because he's a great guy. 
Our neighbor just lost power, but it's one of our clients that we built a pool for. So they've been out without power for an hour. So Rusty's going to pull the freeze plug so it doesn't ruin all their new equipment. We just finished their pool. What this summer? What Rusty? This August? fall. August? Something September, like that. September probably. Yeah. It's so late, late summer. Our business, White River Custom Pools, with that customer service getting out, trying to save equipment. Save Christmas. So it's 8:40 p.m. Currently five degrees. I think it's like negative wind chill. <laughs> I just brought a bottle up for the baby, checking on everything. Gave him a little more hay to keep him warm. Got the baby up. It walked around. Seems like it's doing pretty good. I'm letting it warm up for just a second, and then I'm going to shut the heat off. And come back in the morning. So. So far, so good. I bet it's ready to go back out and see its mama. I tell you what, we're gonna be, uh, it's a beautiful be morning. Going in to check on everybody. There's a little snow on the ground. Going to feed horses this morning and take this baby calf back to its mama. Let it enjoy some sunshine. You're welcome. I kept it alive all night for you. But she's hungry. <laughs> Happy to see Mama. Happy we have some sunshine. I film a lot outside, but I've not filmed what I've been doing inside, which is making sangria, strawberries and dip, entertaining dogs, cooking. I've got brownies going. I have a deer roast, potatoes and carrots ready for lunch. I've been baking pies. My kitchen is an absolute wreck, but I've got pies ready for tomorrow for Christmas Eve. And now after being in and cooking all morning, I'm heading out to go check out everything. And that mess is all from our elf. So that's just another little thing in our spare time. Really? I'm not worried but I haven't seen my kids in a couple hours and it's single digit temperatures and still like negative wind chills. I know they're outside playing somewhere on the farm. I'm sure they're okay, but might be a good idea to find them. And I figured they're at their fort, but you never know. But I do see the razor. So thinking they're at their fort. Let's go see if we can find them. So I did find the boys. They are down here at their fort. What are y'all doing? Are y'all not freezing? No. Rickson, you don't even have anything on your ears, son. Ryder, what are y'all doing? Working. Working. I'm watching. <laughs> Be careful. Y'all just been working on the fort? He's about to fall through the ice. Are you not cold? Oh, no, good. Not it's at all. It's protected in there. Oh yeah, y'all got it sealed off. Rickson. He is in the middle of the creek doing snow angels. These poor boys have been wanting snow that bad. Yeah. Are y'all ready for lunch? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well come help me at the farm for a second and we'll get lunch. so cold right now and they do not care. Turning everyone out for a minute to go play in the sunshine. It's probably the warmest that it's gonna be for this 24, oh, sorry, Lena girl. Probably the warmest it's gonna be for this 24 hour period. So gonna let them go play. Get a little fresh air before we put them back up. If you want out, you better go. Come on, sugar. Let you go too a little bit. Her blanket's a little big, but at least it's on. 
Go ahead. One Sorry. thing I'm doing right now while the horses are out of their stalls is warming their water buckets back up. It's cold in here, but it's not crazy. It's uh, freezing their water buckets, but just a good thin layer. So while they're out, I'm putting a uh, tank heater each. We've got both of these extra, like our excess waters. They're good, they're not frozen at all. I've been swapping the tank heater out for that. So I'm gonna get these two warm, then swap them out for the other guys while they're not in there. Get some waters good and warm for them when they get back. Right now, I am driving in the creek to bust it up. Normally, I wouldn't let the cows out here, but their pond is so far away from where they are eating right now that I don't really want to like encourage them to have to walk a long distance to go get water. So I'm going to open up a gate that I normally wouldn't open and let them come down here and drink out of the creek. So give them a little fresh water, let them preserve their energy and not have to walk a long distance. So, go check on that baby. Praise the Lord for the sunshine. I think we are going to survive. <laughs> Those babies. They're tougher than we give them credit for. They had the windbreak, they had the feed, they had the hay, they had everything they needed and some tough mamas to help them survive. They're not used to that kind of weather, but they sure did well. Okay, this is the last night of this mess, hopefully. I think tomorrow is supposed to be up to maybe 30, so it's going to warm up just a little bit. And tonight we are alternating the tank heaters while we're up here, getting everybody thawed out. I'm always cautious about leaving those plugged in while we're not up here. So tank heaters plugged in. It's a beautiful night. The sun's setting. And hopefully this is the last single digit cold night we have. Blizzard 22, see you next time.